It is March 9th. I am Pastor Justin Krupski. This is Trinity Lutheran Church in Utica, Michigan, and we are moving forward together. And I pray that God gives you more faith, more hope, and more love as you do a devotion. Uh, here at Trinity, we're entering into a challenge called the Forgiving Challenge. We just began it this past week. It's a 40-day uh, challenge. It's actually going to take us all the way uh, to Easter. We're doing devotions every day. Uh, there's an acronym called SCARS. S stands for sin. C stands for confession, A stands for absolution, R stands for reconciliation, and S stands for sanctification. And as we're moving forward together uh, this week, we're kind of seeing a big overview. And today, in our devotional time, it's about absolution, absolution. And in Matthew 18, uh, Jesus has a conversation with Peter, and Peter asks Jesus, Jesus, how many times am I supposed to absolve my brother, forgive my brother, to let it go? How many times am I supposed to do that? Seven times? And Jesus responds, no, not seven times, 77 times seven times, right? Peter, you just keep forgiving him. You keep absolving him over and over again. And then Jesus tells a story to Peter and the other disciples about a servant that had great debt, right? Owed his master a lot of money and the master ends up forgiving that debt. And then the servant goes on in his life as the story continues and all of a sudden he has someone that owes him debt and he refuses to forgive that person the debt and then Jesus goes on to say, if you don't forgive other people, if you don't absolve other people, right, your heavenly father, he's not going to absolve you. Pretty big deal, right? Absolution, right? Not just the ability to say, I am sorry, that's confession, but to actually be able to say, I forgive you, I'm going to let it go, I'm not going to hold this uh, against you. Right. Forgiving challenge. I want you to think about right, forgiving others. There's a man named Larry Crabb, a great counselor, who wrote a book about forgiveness. And he talks about if forgiveness is happening, because I do believe it's a process that happens, but then you got to work through it. That's what we call sanctification. Right? When we forgive somebody and we're in a process of making it happen, right? the hurt is going to diminish, the desire for revenge decreases, and the openness for reconciliation increases. So where are you with absolving others? I know sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's hard, right? but yet God calls us to forgive others, to absolve others. So I have a feeling God wants you to absolve somebody this week. And maybe it's just between you and God saying, God, I'm letting it go, I'm bringing it to you, I do forgive them. Or maybe you actually need to tell the person, hey, I just want to let you know, I do forgive you. It's hard, but I am forgiving you every day. I'm forgiving you. May God bless you this week and may you Continue to be challenged in your life to forgive others.